Welcome to Simply Caroline, a podcast dedicated to women empowerment where we will discuss a bunch of different subjects such as life, parenting, love, business, money, relationships, healing, recovery, addiction, entrepreneurship, and so much more. A podcast I'll do my best to keep simple, fun, and relatable and bring you tools to help you better your life. So thank you for being here. And here's your host, myself, Caroline Blanchard. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Thank you for being with us again this week. So this week and next, we have a beautiful series of of, uh, powerful women that will join us. And we have the very first one, Jamie Lynn Curley. Hi, Jamie Lynn. Hi, Caroline. How are you? I'm fantastic. And you? Awesome. Thank you so much for having me here. today. I'm really excited about it. It's an honor. It's an honor. And so I invited Jamie Lynn because she is an author, part of the book that will be launching next week, Powerful Women in Network Marketing Reveal Their Key to Success. I suggest you go get that book, whether you're in network marketing or not. First of all, it's extremely inspiring stories. It's very, uh, it's stories of hope, inspiration, success, and you know, keys to success and applying those keys to success, whether it be in business, whether uh, it be in a conventional business or network marketing, or even in your personal life, you will grow as a person. And um, so yeah, get the book. I will put all of the information with the podcast. So let's jump in and get to know Jamie Lynn a bit better. So Jamie Lynn, you're in network marketing. I am proudly, proudly, I'm a proud network marketer, that's for sure. And I'm happy that you're saying that proudly because, uh, you know, it's a very old industry. I think it's like a hundred and something years, 20 years. Uh, But there used to be a bad stigma around it. And I feel that with 2020, it really changed the image because people got more used to oh, some people can actually work from home and be productive. But what made you join this industry? Yeah, so my story began, like I think so many other people, I accidentally fell into the industry. I was looking, um, I'm in, I'm partnered with a wellness company and I was looking for some nutrition products. I saw some friends have great results and I was like, okay, let me try that. You know, so innocently, I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but I, I trusted my friends who were using those products and I said, let me give to try. And so that was it. You know, I started out as a customer, felt amazing within like a few days and just so authentically genuine said to everyone, like, you need to try this. Like, why are you not doing this? And so that's, that's how it began for me. And it's funny because, you know, that's what I tell a lot of people quite often. They're like, oh, this is something I could never do. And I'm like, you do it every single day of your life. You just don't realize it. But Mm -hmm. when you go to the restaurant, if you share with one person that it was good and they should go, you're recommending something. So basically, this is an industry where, you know, you fall in love with a product. And, you know, Jamie Lynn and myself are not in the same company, but we're both in love with our companies. And that's the idea. You fall in love with your products to the point that you want to share them with people. Um, So what was your journey, Jamelyn? Like, what's your background before Mm -hmm. all of this? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, before joining this industry, I, um, well, first of all, I'm a mom. I have three daughters. And, you know, if I take you back almost 10 years ago now, I was in the fashion and the retail industry. So I went to school for fashion merchandising. It had always been, you know, a desire of mine and a passion. And I loved it, loved it so much. And then I actually got a job in my field and it was so fun and amazing. And I worked with the one and only company out of college um, for over a dozen years. And I loved what I did. I really did. 
But what happened for me was my priorities shifted. You know, I became a mom and um, I was spending more time away from my house than I really wanted to. I, my, my office was outside of New York City. I'm sorry. My office was in New York City. I live outside of Philadelphia. So I was either traveling on the train back and forth to New York or spending more nights in a hotel than I was in my own bed every week. And I just felt like I was unfulfilled. And while I loved my job and the people that I worked with and the industry that I was in, my passions were to be at home with my kids and to, to be there to get my daughter on and off the school bus every single day. And instead, they, my children were spending you know 10 to 12 hours in daycare every single day. And so what happened for me was when I started using our products and I felt amazing. I honestly had no idea there was a compensation plan associated with it, which is like the best kept secret of all of these companies, right? Like, oh my goodness, like you can, you can financially be compensated um, to share something that you love already. Um, when I found out there was a compensation plan associated with it, I was, I was eager to share with some friends and family members because you know we were a young family of five. There was always more months at the end of every of the, at the end of the money. And so we were we were struggling to pay our bills. And I thought, gosh, if I could just spend, if I could just earn a little bit more money for formula and, and um, diapers. I had twins, right? Twins. And they were three months old when I started using our products. So if I could just spend, you know, earn a little bit of money to to cover the formula and the day and the and the diapers. And then it was like, oh my gosh, can I pay? Can I actually pay that daycare bill that was like twice our mortgage at the time with the income, you know, that I was earning? And then I was like, oh my gosh, can I actually? replace my income? Is that really a possibility here? So I started to dream again. And um, that got me so, so excited in the very beginning. And that was just like, I was ignorance on fire because I had no idea what I was doing. But I just set these like really small little goals for myself. Um, and I started to achieve them. And that just, that got me, that got me to where I am today. And congratulations, because you're at the very top. Um, but one thing that I like about this industry is that there's always someone to help you because you're joining a team. The minute that you're joining a company, you're by default joining a team because someone brought you in. So someone is supposed to be there to hold your hand and, you know, show you the steps. And also because I think it's the only industry that I, I've encountered that actually comes with self-development mm -hmm. and for me that's what like when i started 10 years ago that was the biggest thing i was like wow i get to learn so much <laughs> because i promise you in corporate uh you know they never told me uh read a self growth uh, self development book sorry i can speak right now uh you know it was all about learning the sales techniques learning the leadership techniques learning this learning that but it was not working on myself um so what do you think about the personal development in this industry mm, that's so beautifully said, you know, the books that I was buying before I started in network marketing were exactly what you just said, how to get a raise, how to climb the corporate ladder, how to break through the glass ceiling, all the things. Um, and then when I came here, I... I, it's a, I like to say that this is like a, a personal growth company with a compensation plan. Like all of a sudden, I was learning from these people, whether they were my immediate mentors or people, you know, from afar, where I was learning from them and, and everything. The only way to be successful here truly is to help other people. Like that is the only way to have success. I can promise you that. And so, you know, I saw all of these really amazing people having great success and I started to work on myself and it has tr trickled down. Down into every area of my life. So I really believe that I, I grew up as a person here in this company. And I am so grateful for that because, I, and I continue to, I'm far from perfect, right? But, you know, that is something that is so important to me is that we really um, get to grow ourselves here as we learn. We get to earn as we learn too, right? Like we make a lot of mistakes, but we still get to earn along the way. Yes, and that's a beautiful motto. <laughs> um, and you know what? Personal development, I compare it to the gym or brushing your teeth. It's not something that you do for three months and then when you, you're at the weight you like, 
you stop or when your teeth are white enough you stop it's something that when you stop will stop you need to keep doing it every single day that's what personal motivation is that's that's what personal development is it's a lifestyle and that's a huge part that i like about this industry i feel like it brings you in a different lifestyle uh, mm -hmm. it also brings you in a lifestyle that you know people um can appreciate more the quality of life and you speak with people that are on the same journey as you so it's pretty unique i'm sure like your conferences your annual conferences are just like always on fire and amazing because you're surrounded by all this amazingness yeah that's such a great point you know we actually just got back from uh, one of our top achiever trips and i mean we hadn't seen each other you know obviously with all that's been going on in the world the last few, year, few years we haven't gotten together as much as we usually do and so we were all together and it was like a big love fest you know we're like oh my gosh and you know sharing ideas and you know pouring into each other and cheering each other on and it is a place it is a place where so many people can have massive success like there's there's no i mean there's competition don't get me wrong right but there is so much growth and opportunity here for everyone whether you started 20 years ago in our company or you start today and that's what i love about this so much is that i can say to somebody come come lock, come lock arms with me like follow the tracks that i ran on have your own success and you want to know what if your train goes further and faster and farther than mine i am cheering you on 100 percent because this is a place that changes lives and everyone can have success back in my job you know my old corporate job i could maybe get somebody an interview right but i could not you know i couldn't really get them the job i could just maybe make a recommendation and and here what i love about this industry is that like we don't have a boss right so like we do we which is cool in some ways and some people struggle with that right but like we i'm no one's boss you know i have a huge team i work with incredible men and women but i am not their boss i am here to be their support and their cheerleader and their accountability partner and show them the way you know until they're able to run on their own but at the end of the day it's up to them and that i think is so inspiring that's what really got me so fired up when i first started like i could watch the other people who were having success learn from them and then do this the way that felt right for me yeah <clears throat> and let's talk about the elephant in the room <laughs> um, i will say what i was thinking when i first went to you know an event i was just like wow people are so happy here what's wrong with them um you know because i could not for me it was like you can't be this happy like what's wrong uh are you faking it it couldn't be true um you know i was looking at the videos and i was just like of course it's a video looking at the pictures and i was like of course it's photoshop just because it's not in our regular conventional first of all workplace and and living space in general um we don't encounter positivity this much you know we're more always geared to like news on tv is the best example so it's always like what starts conversations and everything is more geared towards negative and i'm not saying that everyone is negative i'm just saying that's what we account encounter the most and then when you start you know swimming in this industry you're like oh my goodness she's way too happy like people used to bug me because they were too happy i was just like tone it down sorry guys uh, probably a delivery at my house right now uh so my dogs are very eager to protect me against every delivery person um so what i was saying is that yeah so for me that kind of added a bit of a, a component of you know well it's not real it's a scam it's you know and i'm sure you heard it too a few mm -hmm. times like how can it be this good so yeah. what are you responding to all of this yeah you know i've heard it all i have absolutely heard it all and to be totally honest with you you know when i first started and as i shared with you earlier i fell into the industry i was like give me the products here's my credit card i asked no questions um but i remember the negative connotation around these this industry i mean i remember someone coming to christmas dinner with like a catalog and she's like here buy some products right like i remember that but that is not what the industry is today and i you know as i said when we 
first opened up this podcast, like I am a proud network marketer because of what it has provided for me, my family, and my teammates, and the future of our legacy. Like it is a it is it is something like nothing else I've ever seen. So, you know, when I've heard you, when I hear the, you know, the, the remarks of it's a scam, it, you know, it's a pyramid scheme, whatever, like I, in one ear and out the other for me, you know, I maybe at one point I used to try and defend that. But at the end of the day, like you can say nothing to me to bring down my I am 10 feet tall and bulletproof in this industry, like 100 percent. And, you know, I think I know now so more than ever, people are craving uh options and people are looking to have a place where they can create an additional stream of income from home in the pockets of their life in addition to what they are doing i just heard a statistic last night that in order for people to live the exact same lifestyle that they lived in 2021 and don't quote me on this because i don't have these original source to live the exact same life that they lived in 2021, they need to earn over $5,200 more this year. And for some families, that seems impossible. That seems absolutely impossible. But it's if you break it down, it's less than $500 a month. I mean, we show people how to do that all the time. Brand new customers, we show people how to come in and not only use our products, but how to get those products paid for and so much more in cash. And so that to me is the biggest gift that we have to serve the world right now is to show people how they can have a little bit more breathing room financially and to use it in the vehicle that's going to impact lives like at the end of the day like what i I believe so strongly again in this industry but i believe so much in what it is that we promote here in our company like it changes lives like we get to change lives here every day and that is such a gift and so when somebody comes at me you know with those you know uneducated uh thoughts like they're just not my people right like they're just not my people i bless and release them i love all them and i will tell you this caroline i have seen the biggest skeptics come come around (laughs) one of my best friends my biggest business partners in this business was once a skeptic and she wanted nothing to do with this and she actually almost unfriended me because she was sick and tired of seeing it was right when I was having my initial success getting started with this company and she almost unfriended me and then she said you know what I want I want that life for myself and so she she decided to give it a try and she was truly the biggest skeptic and now she is also you know one of the top leaders in our company so it's it's amazing what happens to the skeptics but I am not here to convince anyone and I'm here to work with the people who are open minded and really ready to try something different And I couldn't agree with you more. Like, um, first of all, you don't have to justify it anymore because it gives you an amazing lifestyle. (laughs) You know, when people are like, does it work? You're like, "Mm, look around me, look at my house, my kids, my this, my that, my life. I think it works. Um, And I think that after 2022, like the perspective, perception of all of this working from home and everything will have changed. I believe we we, we pass a milestone and now it's going to be a bit different, but there's always going to be the skeptics. And just like you, I love skeptics because quite often when they turn around, they're the most successful people because they did dig so deep. to find something that was not working uh, that, you know, when they don't have their proofs, they're like, okay, well, I guess, you know, and it's funny because um, someone close to me was asking me the other day, like, I don't know what to do with my life anymore. I need some extra income. Like, what do you suggest? And I'm like, hands down, network marketing. You don't have to come in my company. Find someone that, find a product that passionate, that you're passionate about and dive in go in and do it, you know, research your company, do your homework, because like in every single industry, there is scam, you know, there is bad everywhere, but there's also really good everywhere. So Mm. find, you know, what's really good for you. Um, So Jamie, Jamie Lynn, I want to talk to you about leadership, because I've heard it so much as well. And so often like, oh, I can't do this because I wouldn't want to develop a team like I'm not a leader and, um, you know, or I'm not a salesperson. What do you answer to those two statements? Hmm. 
Yeah, you know, that's a really great question in terms of like, I'm not a salesperson, right? Like that, I feel like that comes up more often. Um, and, and here's the thing, you know, I think we referenced it earlier. We talk about products, services, things every single day. I don't purchase anything anymore without getting a referral from somebody or without texting somebody like, Hey, have you tried this? Do you know what this is about? What is this all about? I mean, that's just what I do. Right. And so if you think about it though, you don't get paid for any of that. And I, you know, I share things that I authentically love all the time. I have like, since the beginning of time, I've always done this, right. I get paid by one company, one company, and it has created the life that I live today. But I still, I still would refer it even if there was no compensation plan attached. Like I really would. And so in terms of like, I'm not a salesperson, it's like, listen, here's the thing. Like if you like something, you tell somebody about it. You simply, you just do. You know, if you go to a great restaurant, you're going to tell your friends about it. If you find a great sale, you're going to tell people about it. Like I wore a dress and I was just recently in Cabo. I wore this dress that I bought off of Amazon. And by the way, isn't that crazy that we're like buying clothes off of Amazon? You know, I just think it's so crazy. But I've sent the link to three or four friends already. I get paid nothing from that, like nothing. And But I just love it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see it on you. And they, there's a few colors I think will look great on you. Like, it's just what we do. And so, you know, I always say like, listen, if you tell people about something at all, you got to give it a try. Like you have to try this. And at the end of the day, in network marketing, you know, all of the products and services that we sell in this industry are around making lives better, period, like end of story, no matter what company you're partnered with. And so that's what I think is so amazing. It's like, it's helping other people. I have found on my team that the people who tend to have the most success are not the ones who have, you know, huge executive corporate, you know, experience in sales. It's the nurses, the doctors, you know, the um, med- we have a huge team of medical estheticians right now, right? It's the people who like to help other people. They want to leave others feeling better. And those are the people who have success here because, you know, yes, is there, you know, a bonus associated to it? Yes, of course. But like, that's not the reason that we do what we do. Um, I, when I first started, I told my husband and my best friend, you guys have to do this with me because I think we're going to feel better. And that was it. I, I got into profit mode right away by just telling two people, I'm like, oh my God, that was so easy. I can tell two more and I can tell two more. And so, you know, I just wanted to help the people who are closest to me feel as amazing as I knew I was going to feel. So, I mean, are we in sales? Sure. Right. But at the end of the day, everything, doctors, (laughs) teachers, parents, we all are selling something. The best ones are the kids. They need to always sell us something, you know, for us to say yes for permissions, for outings, (laughs) for whatever. They don't even know it. But as kids, we've, we develop those skills of negotiation and asking and finding like, how can I get this? And so it, it is all sales. I, I took a training on that at some point and I was just like fascinated by it. I was just like, wow, it's true. We actually learned that like naturally when we're kids. Um, so and what about leadership? Yeah. And so in terms of leadership, you know, it's really, it's really an interesting concept. Um, People say to me all the time, Jamie Lynn, I could never do what it is that you do. And that like hurts my heart a little bit because I hope that I don't put out the impression like that I'm all that. Like I am so far from that. Like actually one of my hashtags is like authentically imperfect because you know, if you follow me on social media, I'm a mess. Like oftentimes I'm a hot mess and that's okay. Um, I want people to see the good and the mess in all of what we do here because I never for one second want, you know, to paint a perfect picture. Um, but in terms of le- of leadership, like again, in some capacity, we're leaders, you know, if you're a parent, you know, if you're a teammate in some capacity, we all have those leadership qualities in us. And I think in this industry, it allows us to allow them to grow. And I, I feel like stepping into that leadership role here for me was such a gift because I had to learn 
how to be a leader for myself first, because I want, I knew that I wanted to attract in people just like me, but I needed to really learn to how to lead myself first. Um, I came in as a party of one and I really, once I understood this concept, I was like, okay, I know who I want to attract in. So every single morning I write out a statement of who it is that I am attracting into my business, because I want to work with people who are of the, who have the qualities of the people who I'm looking to attract in. And those are leaders, you know, those are people people who are, you know, influential and business minded and self starters, you know, those are people who are open to opportunities. Those are people who are who are kind and fun and full of joy. Like those are the type of people that I want to work with. Um, And that is who I'm looking to attract into my business. And that's one thing that I love about this industry, you can actually pick your co-workers yeah, <laughs> yes, you can. does not happen anyway in my old life I did <laughs> not pick one of them um, yeah. and I had to deal with all of them <laughs> so uh, I, and there's one thing that I want to ask you you just you know kind of brought that back up to me um, because you are a very successful person and I don't want to give numbers and all but let's just say that Jamie Lynn is not worrying too much about much so What does, you know, a leader of your stature, a person who has your lifestyle, what's your routine to keep it this way? Because Mm. it is work in the end. You know, you didn't all get that like on a silver platter of while you were laying in bed. What's your routine? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. Yes, absolutely. Well, I for sure have, you know, a daily method of operation that I follow. Um, Somebody asked me recently, she was, you know, uh, considering joining my team. And she said to me, do you still work? And it really caught me off guard because I was like, well, what do you, what do you mean? Do I work? Like, of of course I do. Um, And, you know, I, it really made me realize that there are There must be people, you know, who rise to the top of their industry, get comfortable at an income and kind of sit back and collect on the passive residual income that this that this industry provides for us. Um, That is not me like that will never be me. Um, You know, when I first started early on and I shared about how I just wanted to make enough money to pay for diapers. Right. And then it was daycare and then it was, you know, to save money to to buy our dream home. And I got to this point where I was like, okay. I don't want to say like, oh, it's, it's no more about us. It's no more about me and my family. It's more about the teammates that, that came along with us for the ride. And so, you know, I, the, the, the hopes and the dreams and the goals of my teammates are just as important to me. Like I have a whiteboard and the goals of, of my, the few running partners that I'm working with right now are up there. Um, I know where everyone is going. I know the, the names of their children. I, you know, I, some of them, I, most of them, well, that are ones that are local, I've been in their homes. Like that's important to me. Um, and so I will forever always roll up my sleeves and get to work. Um, I'm never going to just sit back and relax. Um, what I love about this industry is that it gives us so much flexibility, right? And, you know, my children are now in school um, full time, which it wasn't like that for the first, gosh, I don't know how many years. I mean, I had three little ones around and life was different then for sure. Um, but in terms of what I do, you know, I am huge on time blocking. And um, I think it's very, very important to be in control of your time. And so from the moment that I wake up, I'm in control of what I'm doing. Now, sometimes life can get a little bit derailed, but at the end of the day, we are all given 24 hours, the same 24 hours, you know, every single person. And what we do with that time is up to us. And so my, I have a morning routine that is sacred to me. Um, I have, you know, of course, like my own personal health is, is important to me. So it's like getting to the gym and that's community time for me as well. That's really big. Um, and then I carve out some time to work my business every single day, every single day. My birthday's coming up in two days. You better believe that there's time on that calendar to work my business. I love it that much. Like I absolutely love what I get to do every, I get to do it every single day. Um, And so in terms of, you know, just to kind of give you a few things and, you know, some tips for, you know, those in the industry, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's prospecting, 
you know, uh, enrolling and, re- and and training my team. It's connecting with new people and helping them to see what we have here. It's getting new people started, you know, with me or on our team. And then it's supporting my team and it's helping them to kind of do the same thing. We have a very simple duplicatable system that we use on our team that's kind of like a plug and play system. And so it's really just teaching our team to learn what that means and how to utilize that and getting them up to speed and being there to support them. So every day looks a little bit different different, but absolutely every single day, there's time, you know, that's carved out to sit down and, and work my business. Yeah, I love what you just said there, because I think that for me, that's the key. It's time management, which, uh, you know, someone would tell me, someone told me in the past, it's not management, we all have 24 hours. So it's what you do with them. But yes, organizing your time, planning your time ahead of time, so you don't have a reactive life, but you have a proactive life. That is, uh, you know, for me, that was one thing that toned down my anxiety in life so much like going to bed knowing what my next day is when i look at the right day (laughs) but you know yes because today i thought we were tomorrow but regardless that's a a whole other story but you know having a um, kind of a map always to tell me that's what's happening and you know not to plan your days a hundred percent because you're not going to be in control of a hundred percent of your day. There's all the things that, you know, arise around you, especially if you have kids or a family or friends, there's always someone that will text you, call you, ask you something. So you need to, you cannot plan a hundred percent of your time. But I love that you spoke about that because that's one of my passion. It's really like planning and organizing. Um, Well, you know, it took me a while to understand it was one of my passions, but it became because I realized it toned down my anxiety so much. Um, so Jamie Lynn, what could you leave our listeners with? Um, you know, if they're curious about the industry, but they're like, hmm, but I don't want to be, you know, it's not for me or whatever, you know, all the answers that can, can come with this. What would you leave them with? Yeah, you know, so if if you're considering this industry, if you're, you know, thinking that you are interested in 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 what this industry offers, or you're like, what does it even offer? Um, you know, I think that there are different stages to uh, of what we can provide to people. So, you know, if I take a if I think about where I was ten years ago as an exhausted mom who was living off of coffee and struggling to fit back into her clothes like i was just looking for some amazing nutrition and i was looking for a way to to create a little bit of extra income some breathing room right i wasn't looking to make a million dollars i was looking to really just make ends meet and so start there start with what's most important for you right now and I, I believe that every single one of us has something. We have that we have something right now that we a void that we could fill. And and if for some reason you're somebody who has the most incredible job and money is of no issue to you, what if you came into this industry because it was going to allow you to be surrounded with other like-minded individuals? What if you could meet some incredibly influential, fun, amazing people? What if it could provide you something? that could be even more outrageous than what you could do right now, right? We have so many people who are joining this industry who never would have ever even considered it before, but it's simply because of the community and the culture and the flexibility um, that it provides. And so... And then there are there might be some people like me, you know, over the last few years, more so than ever, you know, the 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 term the great resignation is going around, right? Like, what if you are looking to find a place where you could have a vehicle that could one day, you know, allow you to walk away from what it is that you know right now? Um, there, I, I do not think there is any other industry that that can provide that except for network marketing with such a very low investment, right? A very low investment that ultimately is functional uh, products or food or nutrition or whatever it is that you're going to consume or put on your body. Um, And so I just really encourage people to give it a look, 
It's, it might not be for you and that's okay, but find, as you said earlier, Caroline, find a place where you feel like you can get, be passionate about the products and run with it and know that it's not a get rich quick, right? Know that it takes time and it takes effort and it takes a lot of no's to get to a yes. But, you know, if I quit after my first few no's, like I just for one second could never even imagine what my life would look like right now. I simply can't. And so just it's it's so worth it to just give it a look and to give it a try um, because it's, in my opinion, just the greatest place to be. Yeah, well, thank you for that. And I want to flip it to two minutes to something else, like to the, the client perspective also in network marketing. You know, don't be afraid to purchase from network marketing. I find that in every company, every company has their star product that is way better than anything else on the market. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, and I'm not going to vouch for all of the companies here because I didn't try it all. But I make a point to encourage people in network marketing when I'm looking for products. Because first of all, I know I will contribute to someone's business, but I also, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get good products. So what do you say about that part of it, like as a consumer? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you said that. One of the things that, again, I, I try not to let too much rattle me because there's, you know, I keep, I'm very protective of my aura, my energy, and I try not to let the negative negativity come out. But if I, have seen, I have seen so many posts where it's like, I'm looking for this, no MLN, please, no network marketing, please. Like people literally put it out there like that. And I'm like, what is this? Like, why would you ever say something like that? I just don't understand. Um, and so, yes, if you are looking for anything, I mean, there are so many companies in this industry. And the, what's so cool about this industry is that, you know, they don't, our company, and I'm sure it's like this for many companies, our company does not pay for marketing, right? So they're, you're not going to see a commercial or a billboard or an article, you know, or a page in a magazine showing our product. It's just not the way we do business. But they pay people like me and like you and like others who are in this industry to tell people about it. Like what a gift that is. And so if you're looking to buy something, whether it's, you know, nutrition or lipstick or skincare or clothes or whatever, else that you can buy in network marketing, consider a friend because you want to know what? There are some women, mostly women, right? Who are out there hustling while their kids are napping or their kids are at school and they are really, really trying to make it work. And so that is such a gift. Every single new customer that I get is I, I, I'm just always so grateful and feeling so blessed for every single new customer. I mean, we in our family, we get so excited when I get a new enrollment. Um, really, I mean, my whole family knows that I'm like, like I'm so excited for so-and-so. Like we get so excited because it's such a gift to be a part of their journey in some capacity. So please consider supporting your friends and your family members in the network marketing, you know, direct sales industry because there is just there's something so special about it. And just as much as I will support the, the men and women in the network marketing industry, you know, I'm going to do the same thing for, you know, the pizza place down the shop. And I have a local coffee house that I prefer to go to over Starbucks. And there's a super cute boutique down the road from me. I like to go shop there and support those people because they're, they're people that are in my community. And if you know someone who's in the, in the industry here, you really need to support them. Yes. And, you know, I'm going to touch on one thing uh, before we leave. You touched a really good point here is that network marketing, first of all, it's in the it's in the ethics and, and rules that we cannot advertise. It's the, the the business type cannot advertise in the regular uh, portals that everyone else advertise. So people are used to seeing like products like on billboards or TV, or that's why our brain gets used to it. Like those popular brands that we all know, even whether you use them or not, you know them. Um, there's a lot of money, like tons of money invested in the marketing for that. And I will give you an assignment here because I did it about two years ago. I went to research the biggest cosmetic company in the world. And I looked at their financial because it's a public company and their financials are public. And if you look actually at the amount of their revenue that goes into marketing, it's over 60%. Mm. So 
when you buy one of their cos cosmetics, like let's say you buy a face cream, over 60% of the price you paid was just to have it located properly it, where you bought it to have the right, you know, um, tags on it and everything, whatever, the proper marketing made for it. But we don't realize that as consumers because first of all, we've always been used to that kind of publicity, you know, having commercials, uh, having our brain, you know, I, I would say stimulated by all of the commercials like one of the places jamie lynn that i i have a hard time is times square in new york mm -hmm. although it's like so uh you know thrilling my brain is overloaded when i go there mm -hmm. i'm like there's too much going on but uh but we're used to that so people are not used to the network marketing part that there's no middleman, there's no advertising, there's no all of this, it's us that is there. So the money that is invested in marketing, less is invested into paying us. So you get usually better quality products um, at an affordable price. But so that was my PSA for you guys. <laughs> just go, <laughs> just go uh, research on it, pick a company, go look at their marketing budget. That includes, you know, promo, marketing, publicity. It's, it comes under a bunch of different titles, but it's all in the end to bring the products to the consumer. Mm -hmm. And you will see, you will, you might change your perspective on, you know, the fact that MLMs or network marketing companies have a compensation plan. It's basically their marketing budget. Exactly. Oh. So well said. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I wanted to leave you the last word. So I will ask you again, anything else to add? <laughs> oh my goodness. This was such a great conversation. I feel like we, we touched on so much. And, you know, I would just say at the end of the day, I'm so grateful that we were even able to connect here on this podcast. I'm so excited for the book to launch. Um, and I just feel blessed every single day, you know, at the top of my gratitude list, every single day along with my health and my family and my friends and my team is this industry and what it has done for our family and how it has totally radically changed our life and, and the lives around us and all of our teams and future teammates. So um, it's an amazing place to be and I'm, I'm happy that I got to spend this time with you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jamie Lynn Curley. And uh, I will put Jamie Lynn's information. So follow her on social media. She's a ball of energy. She's uplifting. You will love her. And uh, if ever you want to visit our website, all the information will be there. And to everyone, thank you for being here again this week. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, just write to me, info at simplycaroline.com. And otherwise, I'll see you next episode with another author of the book. Thank you. Bye.